Skills acquisition programs and empowerment schemes are effective means to eradicate poverty in any society. To sustain livelihoods and ensure self-reliance among residents, the leadership of Lagos Island East Local Council Development Area trained 200 residents in various vocational skills. The training featured catering, baking, barbing, custom engraving, and makeup tutorials. The graduation ceremony was witnessed by council officials, management team, and other dignitaries. The graduates practicalized their acquired skills and exhibited some finished products, which were inspected by the council leadership and dignitaries. Speaking on the 14th edition of the scheme, the council chairman, Muib Falawio, said acquiring a vocational skill has become a necessity to make ends meet, urging all residents to utilize the vocational center and become self-employed. He said his administration is committed to engaging residents positively as long as they are willing. I would like to congratulate our drivers for taking their time to learn a skill and perform exceedingly well in their choosing field. It is a joy that we, we, we have about 200 youth graduating from this centre today. My administration shall continue to do more to get the youth engaged. I rather encourage students in the centre to be diligent, punctual, focused, and dedicated to their choice of skill. I wish you all success in your choosing endeavours. Certificates of graduation were presented to the beneficiaries as they lauded the leadership for the opportunity and promised to put the training to profitable use. I've learned a lot about catering. I learned so much about food, what food are for. I learned different type of food and how to present them. What I've learned from here, so by the time we're out of here, I... I I want to be on my own, to have a restaurant. Maybe as time goes on, it's, it will grow bigger, which I believe. It can only get better and bigger. Um, I have learned uh, a very good deal of uh, knowledge from, from, this, from this center because they teach us very well. And in the space of nine months that we have, we have been here, uh, I have gained so much knowledge about fashion designing and and fabrics and textile and everything about fashion. I plan to move further. I plan to open a shop, a fashion house, and start showcasing my skills and uh, using this as a means of financial independence, of gaining financial independence. Beneficiaries were admonished to make the best use of the required knowledge to raise the standard of living. My advice to them that is that they should make use of this opportunity. They should try and make use this opportunity and be a good ambassador for this present administration and for this our local government. I have always told them that this is a very rare privilege and I want them to count themselves lucky for being able to assess this program that we have for them. As I said, that I want them to be as dedicated as possible and uh, knowledge is continuing. They should proceed from whatever they've learned here and uh, expand on it and be a good entrepreneur. My advice to them is that if you want to feed your family, these are the things that you need to do. Don't uh, go to the streets and think uh, the way of life is to maybe uh, drug peddling or doing Yahoo. I believe this is a way that anybody can make it, whether it's fashion, whether it's cosmos, anything that, you know, we are very big in Nigeria on partying. So like the makeup girls can always do something. The fashion girls can always do something. They, everybody always needs a haircut. So all these skills is something that they can provide for them and their family. So once again, I appreciate what our, our administration is doing and focusing on this for the youth. The chairman in an interview said his administration is committed to reducing poverty to the barest minimum in the LGA adding that another edition will soon commence. Whether you are in school or not, you have to get one skill or the other. So that with the situation of the um, collar job, the, the rate of unemployment in the society now, they can be self-employed. They can also become employer of labor tomorrow by the grace of God. And that is why we are giving them their tomorrow. We are not giving them today, we are giving them tomorrow. 
We want them to be independent tomorrow. We want them to be employed of labor tomorrow. We want them by tomorrow, from among them, we want to see a fashion design that is world class fashion design. We want to see a cobbler that can be post of this local government. We want to see an hairdresser, a stylish, where he can compete with the people from this advanced country. And that's why they are all here. And by the grace of God, we are going to be there. With initiatives like this, there will be an improved level of financial independence among residents in the LCDA. Thank you.